what's up dudes and dudettes. This is Noel on PC. We are continuing. We are finally finishing this awful three-part series where we were trying to get this Apollo 13 lunar lander thing uh, up via shuttle, rendezvoused together. Now we're going to take it to the moon. Well, that's the plan anyways. Oh, I just realized the, lumen the ambient lighting thing is back. That's weird. In the last video, it was just gone. And here's the thing I was telling you about with no icon, if you remember. Anyways, we are going to push for the moon in about a minute. We have a two-minute burn. There we go. Beginning burn phase. All right, the can, the pusher, is completely full. So as anticipated, we're doing all right. The the uh, Apollo 13 launch, you, the Apollo 13 launch, usually gets uh, quite a big, right? It makes it makes an orbit, and quite a bit of the push to the moon uh, before it even starts using what's in the can. So what we're probably going to have to do is orbit high around the moon. Usually I get right down to like 100,000. That's probably not going to work. We're probably going to have to make it huge. Uh, what do we got? Oh, 143. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. So we'll make 143 circular and then just drop the can down. We're going to have to save as much fuel as possible. It, what we can also do is take fuel that we save from the lander. Right, so whatever we can save from the lander, we will use, we'll transfer back into the can. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll have enough fuel to get home. Even if we don't, we can strand, who do we got here? Christian and Sheldon, we can just strand them in space and come back and get them in a future video. It would be like a bonus spootage fourth episode. I love bonus footage. All right, just 180 meters a second to go, about 400 miles an hour. Doing all right on fuel. Used about half just to get this portion. We'll need about the same amount to get home. All right, the getting home is a little... Actually, it's a little easier because we don't have to land anywhere. We just have to, um, you know, basically hit ocean. Oh, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. What happened? <laughs> Speaking of not wasting fuel, you fucking shitbag. I must have clipped C. Yeah, C does nothing. I must have clipped C. And it was just like, oh, yeah, okay. That's not a button. So it just kept burning. Good enough. I don't care. It says 143, but what is the actual? I don't, I don't know. It looks like we're going to hit it in its current state. But I don't want to waste anything, so I want to get there. If I make a little burn here, what happens? Yeah, we're in a, we're in a uh, crash course. There we go. 100,000. Perfect. We were in a crash course, which is not good. Oh, we're at a nice 90 orbit. 90-ish. That's good. Alright, not doing so well on mono propellant. Which is unfortunate, because that's what you use to uh, rendezvous. The lander and the, the can, once we're done down on the moon. Alright, so we came in really fast. 600 meters per second. I mean, what I could probably do... No. No. I was going to say, I could probably just dump the lander, go down, and then just re-catch up to this thing on its way out, and then we would have sort of a, an, an odd orbit. Oh, I guess this orange line here. And then we would just basically land. Uh, but that's, that's tricky. That is some tricky, tricky shit. So we're not going to do that. Let's just make... Let's get this circularized. 
we're at 116. I'm going to take whatever. Like, the second it snaps to, that's what we're taking. And I'll just have to rendezvous on this side. Like that. I think we're just going to do this. Right? To save fuel. And it's only going 600 meters a second. Oh, no. We could do this. I just wanted to see, like, is it really ticking away fast? Not really. So there we go. We'll just do that. Just something to sort of help so it's not going super slow or fast. It's just a nice speed. All right, we need Shelly because he's a pilot. Um, transfer crew. Sheldon. All right. Okay. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Can is away. Beautiful moon in the background. We have no... RCS. I don't want to burn anything, so let's just do this. Oh. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! That is so fucking frustrating. To let me get the whole way here and then be like, oh, by the way, I used all that fuel you needed. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Okay. That is so fucking annoying. Okay, so 200 units. Oh my god, I have like next, I have next to no fuel left. <laughs> so yes, this lander has to be, like, this has to be the most fucking fuel efficient landing we've ever done. <laughs> uh, so I'm, be I'm beginning to think that this mission, just simply because of how heavy the can is, I don't think it's possible. Can I do this in fast forward? Oh my god, that is ridiculous. The fast forward works, but it doesn't change the speed with which the fuel is changing. Uh, so we went hurling through space at like four time fast forward, but the fuel was still going the same speed. Figure that one out. Ridiculous. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm greatly concerned. Basically, as it stands right now, I don't think we have enough fuel to get home. I know we'll be able to get an orbit a ramp. Oh, we could. As long as we can get back to the International Space Station, we have a way home. Because there's Soyuz capsules in there with fuel. Yeah. Yeah. Possible. Possible. Okay, so we've got fuel. Let's do a quick save. Where are we? Oh, we've migrated pretty far away from periapsis. Let's do an undock. There we go, a little burn just to get away. All right, now we got a break to get a trajectory to head down that way. And I'm gonna leave it shallow. Almost so, worst case scenario, we can skim right over the surface if we can't slow down in time. Basically, what I plan on doing is doing, like, full burn for the exact right amount of time so that we sort of come to zero speed, you know, just over the surface. That's, that's the dream. All right, so 232 meters off the ground. Okay. Jesus Christ. Okay, quick saving. We're just going to do a little fast forward. Do a wee bit of fast forwarding. All right, about 20,000 meters. Thank 
Thank you. There we go. Jesus. All right, so quick save. Because we're only going 580. Let's go down to 10,000 and then do a full burn and see if that is the Goldilocks zone. All right, 590 at 10,000 meter. Beginning full burn. Full burn. All right, so we're hitting the ground whether we like it or not. Just going to get the nose up a little bit so that we do more or less skim. Oh, no, we're good. We're good. We're going up. Good. Yeah, I think this is working. Speed's coming off well. The height is sort of staying, which is what we want. Let's just do... just wanted to find that button. <laughs> What's... Perfect. All right, I got it. Got her. Got him! Let's do this. Turn on the lights. Getting all prepped for our landing. Turn those off. We do not need... Full motor. We just need some motor. Fuck, we're out of everything. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't like the cleanest landing. But we got here. see that light there it is that tells me where we are oh big bounce big bounce I don't like that bounce okay 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 fuck big bounce don't like it okay we are going to just send some comms we are a okay. Processing data done. All right, so they know we have landed. They know we are safe. Just gonna boogie some electricity back in this unit. All right, so he is like Gandhi. So we are near periapsis, but I did want to be on the upsweep. So there we go. So he's going 500 meters a second. We want to come off and meet him. Should be right overhead somewhere. I cannot see him. I have a weird apoapsis mark. That's fun. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. Look at that, apoapsis, zero meters. Speed, zero meters. Okay, we are going to take off. We're going to ditch those as fast as possible because we don't need them. Uh, we want to be going 90, I think. Let's do a quick save just in case. There we go. All right, here we go. Five, four, three, one. See, buddies? Probably should have done that higher up because I have a feeling like some of those might survive. <laughs> Yeah, that one bounced. Fuck. We're gonna have to do some um, deleting of debris when we're done. Oh, I don't want to be this shallow, do I? I want to pop up. You gotta pop up. Can't do nothing though, now you're just boogie boarding. Oh, we got lights off. Put the panels away because we're full charged. Not that it means anything in space. There's no friction in space or like wind drag or anything, so we can have those little sails out and they don't necessarily do anything, but for the sake of being clean, spick and span clean. All right, doing all right on fuel. Doing all right on 
some fuel. I just wish I'd brought more monopropellant. I should have, I, I have to learn my lesson about that. Always pack more pro monopropellant than you think you're going to need. Hmm. It's not the best angle. But I'm not too concerned. As long as we get a little bit close. I might be able to... Where's that yellow line? Just like see. Right around here. Nope, wrong way. Yeah, that's about right. Maneuver. Only need a little tiny bit of burn. Apparently just need a tiny bit of burn. Boink. Perfect. So we are in line with the can. Do we have relative speed? Separation, 50 kilometers. All right, so that's not great, but it's something that we can adjust. Because this little can is really lightweight, it flicks around really nicely. We might actually get a really nice rendezvous right about here. Yeah, look at this. Coming in 20, 15, 10. All right, we're going to take this. Where is it? Hello? Target? Matt, <laughs> you're up that way already. And which way are you going? Looks like it's going this way. We want to shed off the speed so that they're relative with each other. All right, we want to see that hit zero, basically. Oh, we're going at it. Okay, that's good. That's a cool story. Cool story, bruh. All right, we're going at it at 180-ish. We are running out of fuel, which is not good. But we are going at it at like 200 million miles an hour. Let's burn way over here. I want that yellow marker going right at it. There we go. All right, so we got... We got back to it. The problem is, no fuel. I have literally zero fuel to transfer back into the uh, into the can, which is really unfortunate. I I did not anticipate this. That the the lander and can aren't actually enough fuel without the um, like in the Apollo setup. There's you know a unit that sort of pushes them. The first little bit, you know, gets them gets them started off towards the moon, and then at about the halfway point, that's when we actually did the uh, the switch, putting the cannon lander together and have them do the last sort of little bit of a push. So yeah, we got 20 units. We have 20 units of fuel. Shed this down to zero. Good enough. And there is some water propellant left in there. All right, so let's just flip this guy around. No, no, no. Ah, <laughs> oh, this thing hates me. All right, we got 25 units of fuel. All we have to do is just rendezvous. And we have 400 units to hopefully get back to Earth. All we have to do is get periapsis below 50,000 meters or so, and we're good. That'll be enough to aero break us very slowly over time, and we'll eventually get our uh, descent sort of capture. Our, what's it called? 
capture? I assume it's capture, right? The earth will capture us and make it so we have no choice but to open our parachutes and hit the earth. All right, just want to push really far to the right. And also having RCS is nice because at big orbits, like once we break sphere of influence with the moon and we're at a huge orbit around Earth, we can use the RCS and these 20 units of RCS to do the first little bit of um, orbital sculpting or whatever. All right, I don't know if this is going to capture. Good. Let's do this. There we go. Okay, Jesus. We're going to take the fuel. That was easy. We're going to take the monopropellant, which there isn't any. <laughs> what else can we take? Oh, we should take the crew. Uh... Transfer Sheldon back there. There we go. Give it a little flick as we send it away. Now, what do I want to do here? I want to zoom around probably here and then go... Yeah, I only need about 80 meters per second, is that what it said? Yes, yeah, 70, 77.6, 77.5 meters per second. All right, we're going to zip around to there. go get towards maneuver it's going the long way around really fucking weird and we're burning we're burning we're burning things are burning burning toast we just want that break there we go fuck i went a little far but that's i don't give a shit we're gonna take that off we're going to burn out I'm not burn out. Heh, <laughs> burn out. Now we're at the mercy of the moon, right? Because what often happens here is at some point it'll like reattach itself to this. So we have to be accelerating. Good, we're going to be accelerating. How fast is the moon going? The moon is catching up, which is a pain in the ass, but we need to be going more than 542. There we go. We are away. Whew. The worry is, as the moon catches up, if you're going a little too slow, right? if that orbit becomes a little too big, the moon will just re-grab you. And sometimes you'll literally crash into it unexpectedly. So yes, we are going to... I should go back out to there, I think. No, if I burn from there, I might get captured by the moon again. <laughs> so I actually can't. And we're going to burn from around here somewhere. I guess it doesn't really even matter. I don't have to be at periapsis. All right. Now let's see what we can do with RCS first. All right. As I said, we've got it. We might as well use it. All right. We're going to full blown that guy. Because I think these are the only ones that work. Um, so with that said, I don't want these things to waste any... Yeah. Yeah. I don't want these to try and keep its nose into retrograde. If it's trying to keep its nose into retrograde and it's using these jets even a little bit, that's a little less fuel that we're going to get uh, in, in for the sake of retro thrust. So yeah, we're going to do that. It's working. It's basically non-existent. It gave us, I don't know, 1% roughly. It's giving us like a few percent of help, which honestly, I'll take. <laughs> At this point, these 15 units of monopropellant, 
and that roughly... I mean, I got like almost... It looks like I might get like a half a million meters in descent, which is nice. That's a nice little helping hand. I thank you. I thank you, game. I thank you. I thank you. All right, coming up. Nine units left. Yeah, it looks like we got a good, maybe even almost a million units. A million meters. And again, that's great if you're trying to save fuel. You know, these little bits can go a long way. So I like that. I like it a lot. Alright, three units. Where's the earth? There she be. One unit left. All right, we are officially out of RCS. So we got 9.5. I think we started around 10.5. So yeah, I mean, we got we got some good some good descent without having to use any fuel. So as I said earlier, what we could do is just drop periapsis right down to about 50,000 and let uh, the aerodynamic drag essentially air break us. So we're going to do a combination of that. We're going to do a combination of the two by just dipping down just into that atmospheric. You know, we're going to, we're going to skim Atmo just a little bit. There we go. Because we don't want to burn up, right? We just want to touch the atmosphere. We do not want to burn up because we're going to be hauling ass by the time we get down here. And we still have 200 units of fuel left. So yeah, we're, we're going to land. This is only going to be a three-part video. We are going to hit Kerbin. It's just one of those questions like, is he going to hit Kerman and still have a heartbeat when he gets there? Or like, are they going to fucking die? All right. So yeah, 2,000, 2,500, 3,000-ish. That's not, that's not terrible, actually. That's not awful. It could, it could have been a lot worse. Okay, so we're going to, yeah, butt to the wind. Good. Because I'm actually going to burn once we hit periapsis. Just use this last little bit of fuel. There we go. Bring an apo down. We would not survive a re-entry at 3,000. That's why we can't just shoot for this now. I want to save about 10 or 15 units so that at some point when we're at APO, I'm going to burn the last little bit and we're going to make our descent. There we go. Okay, so we are about halfway through this. And we are slowing down. So as I said, the air brake works. It's just really inefficient. It would be one of those things where if we, if we do have to air brake, chiseling off a few meters per second every lap around. It's going to take a long time, so it would just be a movie magic thing. We would just do a star wipe and come to on our re-entry. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to quick save, because save often swear less. We're going to go around to Apo. 547,000 meters. We're going to go to Apo, and we're going to burn this down to like 40, 35-ish maybe. Detach the capsule and see what happens. I have a feeling like I have a feeling like it's going to be fine with the heat shield on. I think it'll be okay. Uh, we will be coming down and land though, which is really unfortunate. I I really prefer the um, the realism of the replica water landing. You know, NASA doesn't really do land landings unless it's a shuttle. So yeah, I'd, I'd prefer a water landing, but I'm going to take what I can get because this has just been such a shit show that it's just good when things don't fuck you over.
Getting some serious lag while it's calculating. Wow. Oh, I'm at zero frames. I am legit. It went to zero frames for a second there. I have a little bit of throttle, and it doesn't seem to be doing much. Okay, so a 20,000 means certain doom. Oh my god, this is fucking ridiculous. Maybe this will help. Will this help? Nope. Nope, not at all. Okay. I'm assuming... Is Steam doing something stupid? No, it's because I'm playing on Steam. It couldn't be doing something stupid. Is Norton doing something stupid? Nope, Norton's fine. Like, nothing... Get, get the fuck off my screen. I right-clicked something, and now I've got the right-click window. Right-clicking desktop. Oh my god. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, I'm gonna open you. It, it's now opening Norton. Hold on. Have you ever had that feeling like things fight you? Like, it's impossible, because, I mean, these are inanimate objects, right? Like, obviously Norton has no beef with me. But I right-click Norton, it brings up that little window of options, you know, the right-click options. Like, oh, you can run the scan, you can you can close me, you can exit, you can de disable the firewall. And and clicking anywhere else doesn't get it to go away. <laughs> okay, it, it refuses to open Norton, but I'm getting the lag like it's trying to open Norton. This is fucking ridiculous. I'm at I'm at one frame. It's just ticking at one frame. I'm gonna try stopping fraps. Starting it. Let's see. That completely fixed it. That's so fucking weird. Okay, and fucking Norton. Fuck off, Norton. You fucking goof. Okay, Jesus Christ. And now yeah, 60 frames. Like glorious 70, 90, 90 frames. But I got one for no reason. Okay, so may may I continue game? May we continue doing what it is we were trying to do, and that is fucking land? Alright, let's do that. I said 35-ish. We got 37-ish. So we're going to do a quick save from here, because it was a little beach. A little beach. Um, I suppose I could just go... No? How about... Awesome. Alright. Let's boogie around. Get into the daytime, because daytime's awesome. Nighttime fucking sucks. Thanks for the lift, fellas. You did great. Except you, decoupler. Fuck you. Alright, we're actually turning nicely into retrograde. We're about to hit 75. 70, excuse me. Alright. Ass to the wind. Coming down through 60,000. Coming down into 50. We're in the 50s, 55. Oh, what was that? What was that? It looked like the decoupler. It looked like that decoupler. How's this stuff ahead of... What's going on? What is that? That's Isn't that the can? And the decoupler that just went by us? But weren't those things behind us a minute ago? I'm so confused. Okay. I don't get this game sometimes. I'm just going to roll so we can get to retro. There we go. We want that uh, heat shield, you know, really nicely into the wind. I'm just going to do a full four time fast forward as we shed this speed. Otherwise, this would take for fucking ever. Christian and Sheldon Kerman. Doing great. They're both having fun. Big smiles. That's good. Obviously, that's a good sign. How are we doing for Abrogator? Got lots left. Obviously, you can do some absolutely horrendous re-entries. Let's try and get more to retro. There we go. Beautiful. All right, let's just warp through this speed break phase. We are in a descent. We're still descending. 
So this is certainly going to happen. Yep, we're coming down. We're certainly coming down. It would have been funny if we hit a lake. You know, like I, I kvetched about hitting water. And it would just be hilarious if the game was like, fine, I'm going to throw you a bone because I fucked you around so hard without lube for three fucking videos. Here, I'm going to throw you a bone. Oh, hit that right there. Oh, please hit that. Close. Close. If we had an engine. If we had an engine, we could give a little burn right now and probably hit that lake. All right, so we are at the mercy of one-time fast-forward. Let's just turn everything off. Some cloud physics loading in. I'm going to try setting for apps and starting it again. That helps every time. I got I to gotta ditch for apps. People tell me all the time that for apps is shit because it's so old and it hasn't been, um, you know, they never do anything to it. They never update it. It hasn't been updated since, like, 2013 or something horrendous. Oh, oh no. Just open some of these so we don't die. <laughs> See, there's like a mountain there. Um, people tell me all the time that Fraps is shit, and I just like it because it's fucking super easy, right? With OBS and DX and some of the other options, I don't find them as reliable. I find... Uh, DX and OBS will oftentimes give me an outputted file that none of my video editing things uh, can use, even though it's like really basic bitch stuff like MPEG or AVI. The system's just like, there's something about those that I don't understand, right? So I can't have that. I need ease of use where every single time I've got a video that I can actually use and edit. If I can't edit a video, I'm fucked, right? <laughs> if, I, if I can't even upload the video, I'm fucked. The Windows Movie Maker won't even play the files. Like, they completely corrupt. I don't know why it is that happens for just me. I would call it, um, in my family, my last name, we have the so-and-so curse, right? And it's basically things that should go one way never do for, for my family. They always go counter-logical. So Fraps should work. It just doesn't. It just doesn't. I've got the hard drive space. This is not an issue of, oh, you're probably full. You're probably, uh, you're probably using a ton of your CPU resource. No, I'm at like 10% of my hard drive use. CPU usage, it's like 28%. I'm good. I'm good. Temperatures, perfect. <laughs> perfect. RAM use, super low. Everything right now is telling me that the computer should be running at a bajillion frames, but it doesn't. It'll drop down to one frame a second for no fucking reason. Because sometimes I'll record for like two hours and nothing. Other times I'll record for like two minutes and then the game breaks. Do you guys remember the division? Remember me trying to make the division videos? Oh my God, that was the laggiest mess ever. And again, no system resource being wasted, right? Minimum CPU, low heats, low RAM, got the hard drive space. There should not be an issue, but I'm getting a lot of issues. So if you have a particular program that you absolutely fucking love, maybe suggest it to me and I'll look into it. But again, if you just suggest the basic bitch ones like OBS and DX Story, I've already tried these. They don't work for me. OBS Studios, old OPS. See, it's doing it again. We're plummeting down to one frame a second. I'm just going to restart. There we go. Yeah, restart seems to fix it. Just I turn off fraps. I turn it right back on. Everything's hunky-dory. But it doesn't matter how long the video... I don't know what's going on. I hate this shit. It's my big pet peeve. It's the one thing that frustrates me the most. It's just the Occam's Razor, I think it's called. That which can go wrong will go wrong? No. Murphy's Law. Occam's Razor? What the fuck is Occam's Razor? Let's Google it, shall we? Let's Google it, shall we? Occam's Razor. As a principle from philosophy, suppose there exists two explanations for an occurrence. In this case, the simpler one is usually the better. Right. Right, the most logical answer is the answer. So, what is the Occam's razor for us getting low frames? If you think you know, please comment. Please tell me a, f a, a program like Fraps, something that isn't mainstream, something that's still being worked on, something that actually fucking works, does high def videos, s relatively small sizes, very user friendly. I need 
I need super user friendly with Fraps. You literally just download it. You tell it if you want full res or half res, and then you press F9 and it records. Super easy. If you have something like that, tell me. I'm so sorry that this video just, the series stretched on and on and on. I really don't like doing this. I want things to go smooth. I want to have adventures that are fucking easy, but I find myself getting really stressed out by games like this. Games that should work, but just don't always, you, you know, I'm not used to that. I'm used to Super Nintendo games where they worked pretty much 100%, 100% of the time. So guys, I'm so sorry this is basically a drama video. <laughs> this is basically me just spouting things I fucking hate about KSP. But we all love KSP, so we can love to hate it. All right, guys, until next time, peace, love, cheers.